Jeff wants to be defined by generosity, not as the kid down the street with a brain tumor. Jeff was never one to take the pity path and be tearful about his own medical problems. He uh, always was looking to helping other people with visual problems and became interested in generating money for research for optic nerve tumors and neurofibromatosis. At the age of 13, Jeff did an amazing thing. He had this overwhelming desire to want to give back. In order to understand how Jeff sees through his sore eyes, we look at his art. An optic nerve tumor damaged his vision. We say he sees the world through Swiss cheese. We really don't know how he sees the world, except we see the art he creates, and that gives us a window into his world. He calls it a sight for sore eyes. The tumor, we believe, has been killed, and it's not causing further loss of vision. In fact, Jeff's vision has improved. When Jeff was in chemotherapy, we were seeking an activity that would bring joy to our house, and we purchased watercolor paints, and Jeff started painting watercolor note cards. Hal and I soon discovered that, wow, he really has a gift for color and art. I believe that Jeff subconsciously paints in a certain style that he never thinks about. His low vision drives him to choose high contrasting, bright colors, anything he can put on the canvas to create a more three-dimensional effect. So his whole style is driven because of his low vision. His giving back started at a glorified lemonade stand, Jeff's Bistro, at the foot of our driveway, and watching him do this event and raising money for the Children's Tumor Foundation, Jeff's giving didn't quit. It just accelerated to many different projects that he has done for different charities. And I truly believe that he's learned generosity begets generosity and the joy that can be found in helping those that are less fortunate than you. We hear time and time and day after day what an inspiration he is. And I, I'm his mom, I'm so close to it. How, you know, how could that be? Well, it's others realizing and hearing his story that they too can take that adversity and put a spin on it in the most beautiful way to find happiness in their lives.